G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and to this supplementary video where I just want to share uh, this product uh, which came in today in the mail actually and, and it's something that I've uh, been trying uh, out throughout the day and I really quite like how it goes. Uh, so this is the Casio Fuel Composite bracelet. Now I think they, they call it the Fuel Composite band but I think most people would say this is a bracelet. Uh, without a doubt and you can see uh, on the printing there there is a pro trek uh, marking now this this bracelet in itself uh, you know it, it doesn't obviously come with uh, this pro trek of mine this is the uh, prw 6100 y1 designation there is a model there's one model uh, of the prw 6100s that come with this and it is the prw 6100 fc-1 uh, and that one is also a sapphire glass model uh, and it costs i think over 100 usd more than the you know that model uh, but i think maybe um you know that that is actually reasonable value because this this costs more than that to get this band by itself and i've searched high and low through the interwebs and i could only find this in rakuten the Japanese uh, online retailer. Uh, so this has come from Japan, from, from a Casio, I guess uh, a Casio retailer, somebody that can get uh, original product, and it's it's definitely an original product. Uh, you know, it had the proper uh, model designations on the stickers that came with it uh, and whatnot. And then I also want to share these, uh, this product as well. This is uh, uh, they, stay, they call it environment cover uh, that might be a japanese mistranslation but effectively they are uh, you know nato strap adapters for the watch so we'll go through that as well um, you know the, the color match is not perfect you know obviously uh, white is okay for the uh, pro trek but uh, this one's a little bit more of a red lettering uh, whereas mine is an orange model the, the highlights are orange but you know what what, what have you there's no perfect match for this as far as I can tell. Uh, now, just to say that uh, these bands, um, the the actual fitting here, uh, as far as I've read, they are compatible across PRW 3000, uh, 3100, 6000, and 6100. You know, they have the same uh, construction uh, and the connection for the band or the bracelet. Uh, and certainly, these products are marketed as as compatible. You know, I don't have those other models, but you know, from the pictures that I've seen. I believe that's actually true. So, you know, why did I get this? Well, as good as this uh, carbon fiber insert uh, band is, it, it, I think it just doesn't do this particular watch justice. You know, it is just not as robust. Um, it, it feels a little bit, uh, I feel a little bit vulnerable taking this on and off because I might, I might drop it. Now I've dropped uh, my G-Shocks a couple of times and G-Shocks can take it. This one isn't a G-Shock, it doesn't have the resin protection, that's steel, and I really don't want to be dropping that. So, you know, I, I think I, I I think I'm gonna prefer putting this on. So, you know, let's get it on. I've done the hard work uh, of loosening these screws, but these this is tricky. You know, you can see it's a flathead, it's not a screw, so you gotta get a flathead screwdriver to lock that side while you unscrew the other side. Uh, so I've already loosened it, so, you know, this is gonna be just finger tight here. Okay, so I'm just going to take that out. Okay, so that's that's just the the screws there. You can see there's a the female side there and the little male side there that goes into the the longer female side. And then to to remove this, you actually need to. There is actually a lug guide. Uh, steel pipe in there that you need to get out as well otherwise you're not going to get the band out so we're just going to use the screwdriver to push it out you know I just happen to have a screwdriver that's the exact diameter otherwise you might you know need to find a toothpick or whatever to push that pipe out okay so it's there just going to pull it out and now you can remove the original bands now just to show you this, there's actually two parts to this. That center part comes apart. 
Okay, so that's what, you know, if you're getting replacement bands, an original one should look like that. There's two parts to it, uh, both on the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put that aside and let's see how uh, how this, this goes on it. Um, actually, maybe I'll, I'll try the, I'll, I'll actually try the NATO strap adapter first. So, you know, uh, this one is right side up, so that's obviously the bottom one. And this is, you know, backwards, so this is obviously the top one. There's no other way for it to go, really. Okay, so that's very snug, actually, the fit. So I'm just going to, you know, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to put the lug adapter, lug guide in there. I'm just going to put the screw in direct. Okay, now that's actually quite a snug fit, so for the demonstration, I think I won't bother actually putting the, the screws in there. Okay, so you know what, what you would do, of course, is put the lug guides in there and then uh, secure all that if you want to use this properly. Uh, but I'm just demonstrating it, so let's get this NATO strap on. Now, this is uh, uh, the Apollo from the Sydney strap company. Uh, I don't have one that I guess. Uh, matches this as well as I like, you know, something with orange highlights would be nice, but you know, let's just see how this goes. Okay, so there we go. It is testing the length of the NATO here, so you can see the distal keeper to the uh, to the far keeper, I guess the proximal to the distal keeper. It's really testing the, the length of that, but you know, that's how it would sit. So let's put it on for a wrist shot, shall we? And there we go. So, you know, I think, it, it, you know, apologies, it's not really matching very well, but this is, this is how it would sit. You know, I think uh, I'm going to try to try to get a plain black one or something to go with this. Now, this is a 22 millimeter NATO, just to be uh, clear. So this one is more appropriate for 22 millimeters in case you're shopping around for uh, straps after you buy these uh, adapters Okay, so that's it. Let's get it off Okay, now let's take this out Okay, I'm just getting the, the lug guides there and I'm going to remove these adapters and now we're going to look at this a little bit more closely. So um, but it says fuel composite because it is a composite between steel and the resin and also the middle, uh, the, the buckle or the clasp is actually titanium. So there's three different uh, types of materials, I guess, if you will. And you can see there's elements of the steel that you can see uh, at the back here. Now those are spring bars. Uh, so here's some extra links that I've taken out already. And this is actually a little spring bar that you can remove yeah, and I find that if you use a tool to go through, uh, let's see if it shows here, there's a, uh, you know, there's holes here that you can use a tool to push through. I think that's more useful. If you try to use a spring bar remover and you slip, uh, this resin it, it is, is relatively easy to scratch. So just be careful about that. Okay, so let's put that aside and just show you this, uh, you know, really quite a nice uh, uh, buckle and uh, clasp and uh, you know bracelet here you know this double um, security you know single one and that's a nice spring lever there it's not just held in by friction there's a spring point uh, which is that that point there and then you got to uh, this buttons to press to release it okay and then just to show you as well there is a micro adjustment on the fly here that you can do all the way out, middle, and then all the way in as well. So that, that's really quite a nice touch, I think. All right, so let's just uh, get this onto the watch then. Uh, so this goes just goes directly on. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yep, yeah, maybe this way. So this would be the top end. have it that's how it goes on okay so let's just put it on for the shot
and it's you know I really like it you know see how it it, it just makes the watch uh, more mature I think than the than that carbon fiber resin band you know I'm, I'm probably this is going to stay on uh, for most of uh, this watch's life so you know there we have it that is the uh, Casio PRW6100 uh, demonstrating uh, both the NATO strap adapters that you can get from Rakuten again this is this were under $20 uh, as a set and then you know this really quite excellent fuel composite bracelet uh, with resin steel and titanium construction uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this supplementary video let me know what you think if you in indeed enjoy uh, I guess modifying or changing your watches. These are not third party, these are original Casio products, but you know, even third party products, uh, including, um, you know, things like uh, NATO straps, like this one that I've shown here. Um, you know, I'd like to hear your ideas. Thank you for watching this far. Subscribe to keep in touch, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.